today we have empties. I love empties. I love talking about empties. I love watching empties. I think you guys like empties a lot too because they tend to get a lot of views. So I guess we just always love talking about trash. Normally I group things in categories like makeup, skincare, hair care, whatever. Today, I'm sorry, I didn't have time. So we're just gonna grab stuff and talk about it. This took way too long. I don't even wanna get into it. This took way longer than I anticipated, but I do wanna say something. The new Anastasia palette, which is what I have on my eyes, wow, it's amazing, you guys. We'll talk about that in another video, but for now, let's get into these empties. Okay, I have a ton of these and one of these. So this was a point perk. Oh my gosh, there's a tiny bit left. I need to use that. Okay, this was a point perk. This is the Estee Edit Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover Cleanser. And then this is like a butt ton of like little foil packets. Um, in each one of these is probably about three uses. So this was actually like two weeks worth of makeup remover. I really like this stuff. It's a cleansing oil. If you've used cleansing oils, it's probably very similar to other ones you've used. I mean, it's not all that different. I didn't find any film left in my eyes or my face or anything. Got all the makeup off. Um, when I use a cleansing oil, I put it all over my face and then I rub it in and then I add a little bit of water to it. Kind of makes it milky. And I find that that works really well to get all the makeup off. But anyway, I really like this and I would buy it. Talking about cleansers um, or makeup remover, this is Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. This was a holy grail for me for a very long time up until I found the new Garnier Micellar Water, which is way cheaper and that's the only reason it's really replaced this because this stuff works so well. It's very gentle, it gets everything off. I really love this. This cleanser from Dr. Brandt, it's called Light Years Away Brightening Cream Cleanser. Now I got this from Marshalls, but, so I don't even know if they make this anymore. And the fact that I got it from Marshalls, there's no expiry date anywhere on it. And it's always smelled a little weird to me. But then I thought, well, is that just how the cleanser smells? This has a very strange scent. I wouldn't buy it again. In fact, I didn't even fully use it. There's still maybe about that much left. I can see through it. Um, but it did work. It was like hydrating. I didn't find my skin really dried out afterwards. It was kind of a lotiony texture, but it had a very kind of strong scent that I didn't really love. So wouldn't buy that. Here's a point perk of the Gravity Mud from Glam Glow. This is the silver face mask that dries down and you peel it off. Really like this. I do find that it firms quite a bit. Here's a pocket back. This is the Chill Out Sea Breeze from Bath & Body Works. It's got a little penguin on it. Very cute. I didn't like this though. It smells very manly. Like it smells like Axe Body Spray and <laughs> Often when I'm using a pocket back, it is right before I eat something, like if I'm out and I don't have anywhere to wash my hands, um, that's when I'll use this. And it grossed me out because then I smelled it while I ate my meal and didn't like it. Um, I keep talking about this in every empties. I'm gonna go back to unscented. I'm just using up ones I have, but unscented just seems to be where it's at because you can't please everybody with the scents of these. And I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of scented antibacterial stuff. Um, this is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate Serum. This is a 0.27 fluid ounce point perk. I believe it was a point perk. Um, this was fine. I didn't notice anything spectacular happen to my skin, but it was a nice consistency. The smell didn't bother me. And with this kind of thing, it's more about preventing um, age on your face than seeing an instant change for any reason, you know what I mean? So I don't really know if I would buy this, but it was fine. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara in Blacker. I, this is obviously a mini. I have never, liked a Marc Jacobs mascara. I just don't. This is what the wand looks like. It's fine. They're just, to me, they're just not worth the price tag. I don't find that they do anything spectacular at all, better than even a good drugstore mascara does. So I am not on the Marc Jacobs mascara train. I know when Velvet Noir came out, a lot of people got it for free and people were freaking out. But have you noticed? I never see people use it anymore. So, I don't want to trash Marc Jacobs. I like a lot of their products, but just mascara I have never found to be fantastic. 
Okay, this is the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age Time Reversing Cream. This, it doesn't say how big of a thing it is, I don't think, oh it does, 0.35 ounces. It's a little kind of miniature thing, but um, a little goes a pretty long way, not too terribly long, but long enough. I don't know if you could tell how much is in there. See, they make the container like a square, but then really it's only a little pot inside there, so you know. But anyway, I didn't really like this. I love the Dream Night Cream um, from this line. It's incredible. But this one, the Time Reversing Cream, I didn't like the scent of it. The consistency, the texture, all of that was fine, but I didn't like the scent and I didn't really find that it did anything. Whereas the Dream Night Cream, I found results immediately. So I wouldn't buy this again. Or I wouldn't buy this because this was a gift with purchase from Sephora, which was actually a pretty awesome gift with purchase. Okay, just a couple things I don't have too much to say about this Avon Skin So Soft Signature Silk Hand Cream. I got this in my stocking at Christmas time. I finally used it up. Um, it was a fine like body lotion. I didn't really love the scent. It was a bit too perfumey for me. Here's the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. So it's really just like a, a moisturizer. Um, because I have kind of a routine going with my face, I just use this up using it on my neck and chest area. And it was fine. It's a very nice whipped texture. I really like the texture of it. The scent wasn't really anything. It was more leaning almost unscented. It had a little bit of a scent to it, but it was fine. I don't know if I'd buy this, but I liked it. Here's the Clear Eyes Extra Strength Redness Relief um, Eye Drops. I just use this every once in a while if my eyes, my contacts are bothering me or if I feel like makeup's gone in my eyes and they feel dusty. I actually, for an extra strength redness relief, I didn't really find it did that. I've found better formulas um, since then, so wouldn't buy that again. My favorite floss, I love this floss. This It always rubs off like you can't even see what kind it is, but it's the Oral-B floss. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it never frays and that's like the biggest thing with floss is like you use it in one tooth and then it's like fraying all over the place and you have to get more. So this stuff is awesome. I've been using it for years. I have like six around my house at any given time just in case like after a meal I feel like I need to floss. So I always have these on the go. They're just awesome. You guys, is this EOS or EOS? Because I always thought it was EOS, and then I saw an ad actually on YouTube um, where the voiceover said it was called EOS. So I guess it's called EOS. Anyway, this is the shaving lotion. Okay, it's called, well, it says shave cream, but it's not a cream. It's like a lotion, it goes on your skin like you have, like you're just shaving with regular lotion. It doesn't foam up, it's not like the little Gillette thing where it goes and then it gets all foamy. It's not like that. This is just like a lotion and I found that I had to use a lot of it um, to cover my legs. Now, the scent was fine. The first couple times I used it, I felt like it was hydrating and I didn't really have to moisturize as much afterwards, but then just the last couple times I used it, I found the opposite. I found like my legs were completely dried out afterwards. So, I guess I can't recommend it for that reason because it's just all over the place and I didn't really find that it was a good value. I have this uh, gift with purchase. This is Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Eye Cream. For the price of the full size, I say don't waste your money. It it was fine, but it wasn't any better than any, any other eye cream I've ever tried. It didn't do anything, um, but I will say like it was unscented. It felt nice on the skin. Texture was nice. It didn't burn my eyes, but that's about it. Like I didn't feel like it did anything amazing. This might be the fastest empties that I have ever done. I can't believe how fast I'm getting through this and how few products are left. By the way, this is my new obsession, just iced coffee. I only discovered iced coffee this year. I don't know what was missing. Well, I know what was missing in my life. Iced coffee was missing in my life before. I'm obsessed with iced coffee. I make my own too, but sometimes I buy it and it's so good. This is the Batiste dry shampoo and it is Ella Henderson, sweet and seductive. I don't know who she is, she's quite beautiful. Um, this stuff smelled very perfumed, very strong, very perfumed. My husband hated it when I used it and after a while it started getting to me too. Um, so I probably wouldn't buy it again. It was just way too smelly. But I love Batiste, we'll never stop using that I don't think. This is the Deborah Lippman the cure and it is ultra nourishing cuticle repair cream comes in the exact same packaging as that dr brandt stuff um 
Okay, this stuff really does go a long way. Like really, I barely have to touch my finger in there and just whatever comes off when I barely tap my finger in will do all my nails on one hand. So this actually lasted me for months. Now I didn't use it every single night, but I probably use it a good three times a week for sure. And I found it worked. It wasn't the cure like it's named after, but it was good. I found it nourishing. Um, I found my cuticles weren't overly dried even in the winter time, but I mean, it, it's not like a permanent solution. It's not like they're amazing all the time now or anything. So, you know, it was fine. For the price tag, would I buy it again? I don't know, maybe. I think I'm gonna experiment with some more cuticle oil type things. Um, so we'll see, maybe. Here's the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So they're supposed to exfoliate, tone, and brighten. Um, it says alcohol-free, safe for sensitive skin. I don't have overly sensitive skin, so I can't really report on that. So what it is, is pre-soaked cotton pads and there's 60 in here. It says you can use it twice a day. It says once or twice a day. I tended to only do it once a day, um, but every once in a while I did it twice. Now, I didn't notice any difference to my skin with this. So they might just be so gentle that I don't notice, but I already have pretty decent skin to begin with. So I don't know, maybe this would be good for somebody who needs more to, like who has a lot more texture. I'm not really sure. I can't really say. I can only say that this didn't really do anything for me and I used it consistently for the last month fish. I mean 60 and I used it mainly once a day. Basically whenever I hauled this I started using it immediately and now I'm done. So that's how long it took for me to get through it. Um, but I wouldn't buy it again. The Paula's Choice the one that comes in the white bottle, the very famous exfoliator, um, that is awesome. And I do notice a difference with that. In fact, I just repurchased it. So I'm very happy to have that back and I'm not gonna buy these again. Here's the L'Occitane. L'Occitane. I know it's not L'Occitane. <laughs> it's like L'Occitane. Okay, shower gel, no, not shower gel, almond shower oil oh my gosh any french subscribers i'm so sorry this is so bad okay anyway this stuff i really like it um i bought this i can't remember why i bought it i just saw it and wanted to buy it um and then i started hearing chris and game talk about it after i had bought it which was cool and she used it as a shower as shave gel why can't i talk today Jeez Louise. Okay. So Chris and Game used this as shave gel and so then I started using it as a shave, not gel, just like for shaving your legs, okay? You just shave your legs with it. <laughs> and it's really good for that. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes really like a lot of cream when you shave your legs so that you can see where you've shaved and all that kind of stuff, this isn't really good for that because it kind of foams but only a teensy bit and you kind of have to know wh where you've gone over and. Okay, it just basically moisturizes your legs while you're shaving them. You don't need to put on any moisturizer after. It, that's the best thing about it. It just really moisturizes your legs while you are shaving them. Now, I can see how this would just be a really nice oil to put all over your body, like at the end of your shower, just put it all over, give it a little rinse, it kind of will soak in. Um, I like it and I like the smell of it too. A lot of people don't say they don't, but I really like the smell of it too. So anyway, I will probably eventually buy this again. Right now I'm just gone back to a regular shave cream. We'll see how that goes, but I do like this stuff. Okay, two random hair things here. This is the Verb Cleansing, no, the Verb Hydrating Shampoo and Hydrating Conditioner. Now, I do like this brand a lot. I have a couple of things from them. I think they're really, really good. They do hair stuff very well, but I didn't like this for me because it's it overly hydrated my hair. And I have oily hair, oily scalp. I have to wash my hair every second day. Sometimes I can do every third day if I'm really like using dry shampoo and stuff, but I have to wash my hair every second day or it will get like grease ball city and this to me like the hot the actually the shampoo was good but the sh conditioner was so heavy and so thick it was just too much for me so not gonna buy this but if you have dry hair like really dry um hair that maybe you wash like once a week like my mom she she has very like um thick dry hair i think she would like this so that I think that would work really well for you if that's your situation. 
Okay, here's the Argan Oil from Morocco by Hask. Intense deep conditioning hair treatment. This came in some kind of subscription box. I do not like this. It smells, and this is gonna be gross, it smells like lemon Lysol toilet cleaner. This, that's exactly what this smells like, and I'm sorry to the brand, that is what it smells like to me. I wouldn't buy it for that reason alone, okay? If they could change the scent of this, I would buy it because I did use it. And by the way, this one package, about half of it did my hair completely. So I used it the once, I left it in, washed it out. I did find like it really conditioned really well, but then I just kind of squeezed the rest out into my sink and washed it away because I just couldn't deal with the smell of it. I did not like it, but it worked. So if you can deal with the smell of this, go get it. Here's the Ulla Henriksen Nurture Me Cleansing Cloths Makeup Removing Wipes. And this was a 30 pack. These are way too expensive for what they are. I do like that it's a big sheet, like it's a big makeup remover sheet and it smells divine. They smell like orange creamsicles. You'll love the scent of them. That's the only reason I even bought them in the first place because I couldn't say no to the smell, but now I'm over it. I love the smell, but I'm not gonna pay that much for makeup remover wipes, especially because I don't really even use makeup remover wipes very often myself. Um, but they were fine. I mean, they were moisture, like they had enough moisture in them and they were big enough. They were good. Okay, just last things. This is it, just some masks. This I got like an Ipsy, the Sue A, I think it's a Korean brand. Collagen Essence Mask. I actually only used this last night. I liked it a lot. It was good. It like was a wide mask, so it covered my whole face and it didn't smell weird and I felt like it was really hydrating. I really liked it. Here's the um, Tony Moly Panda's Dream. These are just for your eyes and they're so weird because they're big black circles and they go over your eye like this and they make you look like a panda. But they're nice, they're very hydrating. This is the new Orchid face mask from Sephora. Um, I don't like the smell of this. This is so heavily floral that I, I would not buy it again. But if you like that, you would love this because it's so floral and it's soaked in product. Like it was so wet. I maybe could have used it twice, but I didn't want to. So anyway, for the price though, I like, so I like all Sephora masks, but I think they are overpriced. Okay, two of the Tony Moly um, I'm Real masks. This is the broccoli and this is the red wine. You guys, I didn't notice any difference between the two of these. I didn't think they did anything different. They were just hydrating masks, which is what I usually use this stuff for anyway. That's all I really ask of a mask is that it just hydrates. Um, but I didn't really find that these did anything. Like this is, says for pore care and this says vitality. I don't know. So that's my empties for this month. I used to kind of do them, well, when my basket was overflowing, um, and now I'm trying to do them more on a monthly basis. Let me know if you guys like that schedule better, or do you think I'm doing them too often? I like to keep these videos shorter. Um, I like to keep my videos under 15 minutes because I want to like, if you're on your break at work, I want to spend it with you, and I want you to choose me to spend your break with. So I like to keep my videos under 15 if I can. I mean. Obviously there's videos where I want them to be longer because there's enough information that they should be longer, but empties always seem to go on so long that it's like, well, can you just hurry it up and move along? So I thought maybe on a monthly basis it would be a little bit better than every six or seven weeks. So let me know in the comments how you like that. And that's it for today. So now I get to go throw all this stuff out. Look at, look at all those empties. So much beauty stuff. Okay, that's it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.